Ozawak. The Ozawak is a Sidham livestock guardian breed of dog from West Africa. It is also used as a hunting dog, though relegated to a secondary function due to the lack of game in the region. With ancient origins, it is raised throughout the Sahelian zone of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. This region includes the Azawa Valley for which the breed is named. While commonly associated with the nomadic Tuareg people, they are also bred and owned by other ethnic groups such as the Pul, Bella, and Hausa. The Azawaka is more related to the Slugi than it is to the Saluki. Description Appearance Morphology is very similar to that of the Middle Eastern and South Indian side hounds, all swift, hybrid coursing hounds, although there are several obvious differences. For example, a short, flat back combined with long legs place the hips higher than the withers. The Ozawak is almond-eyed and thin. It moves with a distinctly feline gait and can be found in a variety of colors as well as varying degrees of refinement, though format is basically constant. Dot. Height and weight. The standards call for a hound from 33 to 55 pounds, 15 to 25 kilograms. Its height is 24 to 29 inches, 61 to 74 centimeters. The coat is very short and almost absent on the belly. Its bone structure shows clearly through the skin and musculature. Its muscles are dry, meaning that they are quite flat, unlike the Greyhound and Whippet. In this respect it is similar in type to the Saluki. Colors Colors permitted by the Federación Sinologica Internacional FCI, breed standard are clear sand to dark font slash brown, red and brindle, with or without a dark mask, with white bib, tail tip, and white on all feet which can be tips of toes to high stockings. Since 2015 white stockings that go above the elbow joint are considered disqualifying features in the FCI member countries, as is a white collar or half collar, Irish marked. Some conservationists support the idea that in Africa, Azawaks are still found in a variety of colors such as red, blue fawn, that is, with a lilac cast, grizzle, and, rarely, blue and black with various white markings including Irish marked, white collar, in particular, mostly white. Dot because of this white color variation in the native population, the American standard used by the AKC and UKC allows any color combination found in Africa. AKC and UKC are not a member of the FCI. Movement The Ossawak's light, supple, leesome gait is a notable breed characteristic, as is an upright double suspension gallop. Health Ossawaks are an incredibly sound coursing hound. Serious injuries are rare. The dogs heal very quickly from injury. Ozawak have no known incidence of hip dysplasia. There is a small occurrence of adult onset idiopathic epilepsy in the breed. Wobbler disease, or cervical vertebral instability, does rarely occur. Some breeders believe this is largely a developmental problem where puppies grow too quickly due to a high-protein Western diet. Reproduction Like the Basenji and Tibetan Mastiff, the Ozawak often has a single annual estrus. Unassisted birth of healthy puppies is normal. Litter sizes are usually from 4 to 6 puppies, but litters as small as 1 and as large as 10 occur. Dot. Care Asawak need a fairly high level of exercise and should have regular runs off lead in large enclosed areas to run off steam. The dogs are very social and emotional. They need a master that provides firm but fair leadership. Asawak thrive on companionship of other Asawak. Temperament Bred by the Tuareg Fula and various other nomads of the Sahara and Sub-Saharan Sahel in the countries of Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and southern Algeria, the breed known by the Tuaregs as Oska was used there as a guard dog and to hunt gazelle and hare at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. The austerity of the Sahel environment has ensured that only the most fit dogs survive and has accentuated the breed's ruggedness and independence. Unlike some other sighthounds, the Ozawak is more of a pack hunter and they bump down the quarry with hindquarters when it has been tired out. In role of a guard dog, if an Ozawak senses danger it will bark to alert the other members of the pack, and they will gather together as a pack under the lead of the alpha dog, then chase off or attack the predator. Dot the Sluji, by comparison, is more of an independent lone hunter and has a high hunting instinct. Ozawaks have a range of temperaments from lap dog to quite fierce. Lifelong socialization and firm but gentle handling are critical. Well socialized and trained, they can be good with other dogs, cats, children, and strangers. Unlike other sighthounds, the primary function of the Ozawak in its native land is that of protector. It develops an intense bond with its owner, yet can perform independently from its master. With those they accept, 
Azawak are gentle and extremely affectionate. With strangers many are reserved and prefer not to be touched, but are not inherently aggressive. Although raised to protect livestock, they do not have innate aggression toward canines or humans unless they are threatened. Azawak have high energy and tremendous endurance. They are excellent training companions for runners and are nearly impervious to heat. They will happily run in weather over 100 degrees Fahrenheit that would kill a greyhound. Dot. Many Azawak dislike rain and cold weather. Azawak are pack-oriented and form complex social hierarchies. They have tremendous memories and are able to recognize each other after long periods of separation. They can often be found sleeping on top of each other for warmth and companionship. Alberta Rossi to raise an Ozawak is like building a very fragile construction, which takes a lot of sensibility and can be destroyed from one minute to the next. But every minute it lasts, it fills you with great happiness. Every time I'm sitting in a chair or sofa at least one of my dogs tries to take a seat on my lap. The same happens to those of my guests which they love. In these moments they seem to be the image of calmness, gentleness, and trust. But one should not be deceived about this. In the deepest place of their soul resides something wild and native, and they will remind us about it with the first occasion and we should not forget, even for a moment, not to treat them like a normal dog. Dot. Breed History Throughout the Sahel, very elegant puppies can be found among rustic siblings. The Sahel nomads do not have the same breed concepts as in the West End, unlike the Bedouin of the North, do not recognize a strict separation of Alhor, noble, from Kelp, mongrel, dogs. The nomads act as an extra level of selection on top of the intense natural selection pressure of the Sahel environment. The approach to selection is diametrically opposed to Western breeding, and presents the advantage of maintaining a large reservoir of genetic variability and resilience. The peoples of the Sahel control dam lines and cull puppies heavily at birth according to locally held aesthetic criteria that are not yet fully understood. In the Sahel, color is not a selection criterion. The alpha male dog from the local population is usually the sire. Females are usually culled unless the family projects a need for more dogs in the future. The breed is relatively uncommon in Europe and North America but there is a growing band of devotees. Ozawak may be registered with the FCI in the USA via the Federación Canofila de Puerto Rico FCPR. European FCI clubs and the AKC recognize the FCPR as an acceptable registry. The AKC, not a member of the FCI currently recognizes Ozawak as a foundation stock service breed and they are eligible to participate in AKC sanctioned companion and performance events. The breed will enter the AKC miscellaneous class on June 30, 2011. The American Ozawak Association AAA, is the AKC parent club for the Ozawak. Ozawak may be registered with the UKC and ARBA. The breed is not yet registered by CKC. Asawak are eligible for OSFA and AKC Lure Coursing and NAFCA Open Field Coursing events. Origin The breed originated from the pariah dogs of Sub-Saharan Africa, also called bush dogs or Basenji, and is also closely related to the Slugi of the Maghreb. Despite morphological similarities, mitochondrial DNA evidence shows that it is only very distantly related to other sighthounds. Asawak have a rare glucose isomerase allele, GPIB that occurs only in foxes, jackals, Italian wolves, slugi dogs and a handful of other quite unrelated rare dogs found mostly in Japan. The presence of the Gpip suggests an ancient differentiation of the Azawak from other dog populations. Petroglyph rock art dating from 8,000 to 10,000 years ago during the Green Sahara, also known as the Holocene and Neolithic subpluvial, shows cursorial dogs in conjunction with hunters. Archaeologists have found dog bones buried in Holocene settlements in the Sahara. At the close of the Holocene wet phase in the 4th millennium BCE, the Sahara returned to desert and created a formidable physical barrier to travel. Together, this evidence suggests that the Azawak population has a unique genetic heritage and that it has been largely isolated from other dog populations for millennia. In the common era the Sahel dogs are almost totally isolated from northern dogs by the Sahara but the ties to the pariah dogs to the south are extremely close. Azawak are virtually indistinguishable from the Sahel pariah dog population from which they are drawn. In addition to a basic physical structure, the Azawak share a number of unique traits with the pariah dogs, walk share a number of unique 